Guys, welcome back Schofield Welding. We have Weld Tube here with us in Colorado, the big state of Colorado, right outside the Rocky Mountains. Guys, in this episode, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna work on a four inch OLED, uh, weld it down to a 150 flange, and we're, we're gonna go ahead, put the bead in it, hot pass it, and then cap this thing. This is stuff we do every day. So hope you guys enjoy, stick around, and let's go from there. All right, you guys, we got this We got this thing chucked up in the rollout wheel. Now, one of the things with the way I weld things, it's all gonna depend on what size of pipe we're welding, how thick a pipe. On this, it's schedule 40, and so I run about a 332 gap with an eighth inch 5P plus root. All we did is I tacked up, and it's in four spots, and so that it don't move around on us, all right? So this is what we're getting ready to do. We're gonna start right here in these keyholes, start running down it. And, and, and adjusting as we go, depending on what the rod's doing. And, and then we're just gonna go from there. But for right now, we're gonna run the root and, and make it happen. All right, you guys, let's go over here to the, the machine. This is the machine we're gonna use for the demos. It's a Miller Pipe Pro 350. I bought this machine about a year ago, I've put over a thousand hours on it, and it's a great machine. So, it is glow plugs, it's a diesel runner. All this is wireless, all of it is wireless, it's all controlled by the remote, and we can control it up to like 100 feet, 200 feet, something like that, so makes it nice. All right, you guys, here we go, let's get after this. We're gonna start up above the keyhole, about a half inch, so that by the time you get to the keyhole, it's good and hot. Now right here, that puddle's kind of wanting to stick to that right side of the OLED side of this. So I'm putting a little pressure on the flange side of it. So right now, it's just a little too hot. We're gonna kind of step it in a little. If I had Daniel here, he could turn me down a little. So now we're just gonna keep running up over that tack. And we're still hot. So one thing to keep that keyhole kind of closed up is you can always move just a little faster if the puddle will let you. I need to turn down. We're gonna basically cut all the way through that tech. All right. All right, you guys, so I just turned down five, which on my machine, I'm not 100% sure what that is, but I just know it's down five. <laughs> So we're gonna start back up above the tack again. All right, there, see how that, we got kind of a big keyhole right there where it was pretty hot. Okay, now that puddle's kind of following us a little better. It's still wanting to stick to that OLED side a little more and it's wanting to stick to the flange side. So we're just gonna put a little pressure on that flange side. Now I'm gonna twist my hand towards myself a little bit because it was kind of not wanting to stick even more. So you gotta just kind of keep working with the puddle and get it to where it's doing what you want. Okay, tied into that tack. We got one more tack to tie into. Now guys, these, are, these aren't pipeliner beads, all right? These aren't root passes that are like a pipeliner would put in. These are fab passes. They're gonna be a little heavier root. Oop, you see how that didn't tie into that OLED side? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn up five right there. And I'm gonna put a little pressure on that OLED side of things. Try to get it to just tie back in. There it goes, done. So there's the root pass right there. See, there's little things you can pick up on that, that are gonna help you out. So where it didn't tie into that OLED side, all we gotta do is run back over it, good to go.
guys. Just got this thing hot past. We're gonna go ahead and get started on uh, the cap. Now, this is just schedule 40, so all it was was a root, your hot pass, then we're capping. It's one nice thing about a rollout wheel is you can really stack a lot of iron to it. We're using a 3 16 70 10 pipeliner, 7P plus. We're on 45 on the remote, which is, I wanna say like 160 amps on the machine. So, let's get started on this. So all this is right now, you guys, I'm just kind of staying in the middle, kind of pushing that puddle up there. And what I mean by pushing is I, I'm, I'm actually kind of short arcing it as I push it up. And that's gonna help it stack. Now a lot of your heat is controlled in your arc, so if you're long arcing it, it's gonna be super hot. But if you'll, if you'll kind of short arc it, it kind of cools that puddle down just a little bit, makes it a little easier to stack it. Now some guys can really cruise on these caps. I don't really like to go too fast on them just for the reason a dropped ripple is uh, you gotta come back through and fix it. So if I can just keep the ripples tight, everything's good. Okay guys, now on my starts, like what you just saw right there, I kind of over exaggerate the start a little bit. It's gonna look like you almost went too far over the puddle, but I don't know why, but they just keep turning out all right, so I just keep doing it. Now kind of a technique on this rollout wheel is I kind of use my belly to, to, to hold the wheel as I move my hand. A lot of guys get pretty shaky and it's because they ain't got a whole lot of stability on it. Took me a long time to figure that out. So right here we're getting ready to tie in. I kind of long arc just a little bit right there to make it good and hot. And we're done. All right, you guys, she's cat, let's buff her off, see what she looks like. Okay, you guys, everything on this was maybe just a hair bit hot, but hey, better to show you how to fix something while you're still a little too hot then to not be able to fix something all right so anyways that was the cap hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys were able to pick up on a few little things that maybe helped you out and everybody be blessed be sure to subscribe to youtube uh weld tube and south coast welding academy and schofield welding thanks everybody for hanging out with us be blessed